Hello everyone, it's a great start to the academic year beginning with the International Conference on Multimedia Computing and Systems. I am Abdelilah Hamdi, a first year researcher at the Computer Science and Systems Engineering Laboratory, Faculty of Science at the Malk Saadi University, Tetuan, Morocco. I'd like to talk about applications of machine learning algorithms in smart grids. I wanted to take the time to thank my research supervisors, Mr. Abdelaziz El Hibawi and Mr. Ahmed Ben Dahman, and thank you all for watching this presentation. The vision of our work is to contribute in upgrading the present national power grid. The direct objective now is to classify machine learning algorithms using smart grids on the base of usage. In order to get a deep insight of how they are employed in machine learning, my presentation is organized as follows. Introduction will present some of the main objectives, achievements, and opportunities of Moroccan energy policy than the problems of the current aging grid. Next, we present the solutions and advantages of smart grid. Before moving on to the results of this work, we will give a brief presentation of the principles and strategies and types of machine learning. After, we present some of the applications of different algorithms to achieve a variety of objectives. Lastly, we summarize and conclude this presentation. So let's start. The development of national renewable energy sources is one of the priorities of the national energy policy, the main axes of which are strengthening the security of energy supply through the diversification of sources and resources, the optimization of the energy balance and the control of capacity planning, generalized access to energy through the availability of modern energy for all sections of the population and at competitive prices. The graph below shows the great achievement achievement in rural electrification with a percentage 99.72% by the year 2019. Sustainable development through the promotion of renewable energies to strengthen the competitiveness of the country's productive sectors, the preservation of the environment through the use of clean energy technologies with a view of limiting greenhouse gas emissions and reducing the high pressure on forest cover. Nor was that, nor middles are two projects to illustrate the promotion of renewable energies. Let's now look at the problems of the current electricity network. The electric grid can be decomposed to three parts, production, transport, and distribution. The main issues with the current grid are as follows. Mainly fossil fuel dependent generators are used to produce electricity, so it contributes to carbon emission. In general, the production stations are centralized and produce a big amount of electricity that needs to be transported. The transport needs long lines which raise the fees of transportation and maintenance and makes the risk of blackouts very high. In short, the power grid is a complex system that is very difficult to manage. The main advantages of smart grid are, first, integrate renewable and how to get green, affordable, sustainable and secure energy. Second, it's distributed architecture is built on microgrids that can use its own resources and be disconnected from the grid. This architecture helps to avoid the domino effects and the power blackouts. Bidirectional interchange, consumer and utilities can exchange information and even energy so the consumer can buy or sell energy and control his consumption efficiently. To manage this complex system, a big amount of data is exchanged and need to be processed in efficient way to respond to the requirements of produce utilities and consumers. Here come the role of machine learning. Let's move on to present some of its essential concepts and strategies. The main types of machine learning are supervised machine learning, unsupervised machine learning, reinforcement machine learning. Some of the methods of machine learning are regression, classification, clustering, and so on. Now let's move on and present the classes based on utilization found in studied papers. We have based the classification on the main objective achieved by the algorithm we present a non-comprehensive list and illustrate the application of some algorithms as follows. Forecast and prediction, deep belief network is used to predict building energy consumption in 9. In 13, artificial neural network is used for short-term forecasting of hourly wind flow speed, solar radiation, and electrical power load. 
Application of machine learning in security. 37. Use a DABUS and random forest in an attack detection model using data from phaser measurement unit. 45. Use artificial neural nets, MLP, multi layer perception for energy database anomalies detection. 42. Use convolutional convolutional neural nets for theft detection at generation domain. Application in optimization. In 21. A neural nets based optimization approach for energy demand prediction using convolutional neural nets. CNN and neural nets based genetic algorithm double NGA and, and double N based particle swarm optimization NPSO in 24 support vector machine and glow warm swarm optimization GSO are used in battery storage in order to reduce electricity tariff other algorithms are used in different tasks for instance customer profile identification pricing distribution etc let's take an overview of what we said this table gives the big picture of what we have done it shows machine learning techniques used in smart grids let's summarize what we have done to summarize, we presented the context of energy in Morocco and the problems or limitations of the grid and how the smart grid gives some solutions to the problems of the old grid. But this is not for free. Smart grids are also very complex systems that incorporate computing systems and facilitate the integration of renewable energies and use a huge amount of data which need to be processed. In this work, we have presented some of the applications of different algorithms, some questions, needs, more investigations and study. In the future work, we will try to investigate different scenarios to evaluate algorithms efficiency in different usage and see which algorithm is more suitable for which task and when to use it. Thank you.